Remarkable just released version 2.12, which has a bunch of different changes specifically centered around ebooks and PDFs with OneDrive, which will show you in a little bit. Specifically, ebook and highlighting, which is very nice. If you click the highlighter right down here and then you click on the lines, you now get yellow, green, and pink, and they're all varying shades of gray. They won't actually be yellow, green, and pink because this is a black and white device and you can't can't see anything you actually highlight. However, if you highlight things like so, it will now highlight itself like so. And when you export this or you go into live view, these will all be the respective colors that you have chosen, which is very nice because now you are taking more advantage of what the end product is going to look like rather than what you'll just see on the unit itself. Add notes to your PDFs and eBooks. What this means is that it'll work on both. It'll work on eBooks as well, because everything really is roughly the same, kind of like a Sony DPT. Anything you load has the same palette and elements on the side. So you click right here and you can add a note page. Before you do that, please take special note, all pun intended, of the page count. Because if you have 238 pages and you add a page, it will screw up the entire page count. It is going to change that drastically by however many note pages you want. So for example, I'm here and I go from there to there. If I add a note page, I'm actually going to put a blank note page there and I now have 239 pages. So if you have to reference pages and someone says to you on page 117, that's not going to hold true anymore because you've added 35 note pages in between each one. So that is something they're going to have to focus on. It is nice to have that ability to go in between pages like that and have these reference note pages, but please note it is going to change your page count and that's something that has to be addressed. Improved search. So what that means is you go here and it works on ebooks as well. You can type something like cards for example. When you click on it, it's going to go to the very first result and it's going to show you how many times these are all mentioned. And if you click on next, it'll just go down, 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 down. You see we it's still searching hundreds of pages and we have hundreds of results. So you're going to have to narrow things down a little bit. But it is nice that this has a much more improved and refined search option that works across pretty much anything you sideload. Final change of this update is OneDrive integration. You can see right here, I've added my Remarkable and a folder called Remark1, just for reference. And you'll notice a bunch of stuff from over the years that I've collected, just songs and all that kind of stuff. And anything that is pictures or songs or photos of any kind will not be compatible. None of them work. They just straight up don't work. But you can click on Documents. You have to long press and then say Copy and then it copies to my files and then you go over to my files and then the thing that you just copied will be there in this regard it'll be the user guide from one of our apps we made and now you can actually use it and transfer PDFs directly to your Remarkable via OneDrive so that's really cool that you don't have to connect this to your computer anymore you can actually upload even from your phone to OneDrive and then download it from OneDrive on here one more thing we'd like to mention, which has nothing to do with the update, but you can snap other pens to this unit. If you're not even using a Remarkable pen and you're using an Onyx Books pen that has a magnet snap, it does snap to it and it actually holds on pretty hard. I can almost slide it across the table. And remember, there's little rubber stoppers on this unit. It is a very good thing to have that you can snap things to here that aren't even the Remarkable pen. So that's kind of nice. This is all for the latest update on Remarkable 2. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And for now, everyone, have a great day.